Hey, welcome back to Corvette Ed's Garage, uh, and welcome back to a Harley Davidson Blue Knight series. I'm going to be honest here. I um, uh, I kind of got lost in the editing. Wilson! On the Blue Knight series, uh, the reason being is the Corvette series is my main focus right now, um, and the Blue Knight series I'm kind of uh, you know taping it on the on the fly. Who left the fridge open? Um, but uh, in between, you know, stuffing everything in a folder, I kind of got lost. So I'm just going to go ahead and push out everything, all the upgrades that I've done on it so far. Uh, and and if it's a product that uh, I like, uh, I'm just I'm going to go ahead and put the link underneath the video. Uh, if it's not if it's not even worth it, I'm not even going to bother uh, putting a link for it. So uh, we'll get to it right after this. of the Harley Davidson Blue Knight series. Um, I thought I was done with the uh, uh, LED lighting, but I found some other uh, type of lighting on uh, Amazon. Uh, so, uh, but there's some modifications that I need to do on it to make it work, uh, which we'll uh, cover here in a little bit. Uh, other than that, uh, uh, the headlight, uh, the rear tail light done, uh, turn signals are done in the back. Uh, also, uh, going to install um, uh, saddlebag rails. Uh, and it, it, everything I do to, the, the, to, to my bike or to uh, um, anything that uh, I do to the Corvette, it's always going to be, uh, the links are always going to be in the descriptions. So, uh, let's uh, get started on the lighting. Uh, I need to finish this up because I got a ride tomorrow. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubblegum. Uh, the weather's nice, I've uh, been waiting, and uh, tomorrow is a good day to ride, so I need to finish this up all today. Alright, we'll be right back. Okay, uh, I, 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 I ended up buying new uh, lights, or new uh, LED lights. Uh, for my bike uh, and I also got the smoke lens too because they uh, seems like the LED light looks really good on those but uh, uh, this this I had to remodify because the plug the 1157 plug was too long so it would not allow me to put the uh, the, the LED light in uh, so that was kind of weird but I already knew that uh, and I was hoping that I would get the updated plug. Unfortunately, I didn't. So let's go ahead and show you what I did. So this is the uh, turn signals that I'm going to end up putting in the front, only because uh, I mean they're Amazon uh, turn signals, uh, flat style. Um, the Reviews on the brightness on it was uh, outstanding, except there was only a, a one flaw with it. I'll show you what that flaw is, and sometimes you just have to do what you gotta do. So, so this is the turn signal I'm gonna put in there. Uh, it, it's pretty nice. Problem is, is this uh, plug here, uh, it doesn't quite fit in there. So what people have been doing is they have been cutting this piece here. There will be blood. Uh, to make it fit. And I thought to myself, well, why do I go through all that trouble uh, when you can just buy yourself a cheap pair of uh, eBay specials and cut the wire. Uh, and there you go there. And that'll fit in the uh, base there. Not a problem. There's enough room for even the wiring. Um, don't know why they did something like that. You're fired. And uh, um, 
it's it's I don't know uh, the the description shows a different type of plug, so maybe this was an afterthought that they did and they uh, didn't realize that they fucked up, uh, which is fine. Uh, the lights uh, again they got good reviews on the the, the, uh, the turn signals and uh, uh, that's the only reason why I bought them. Uh, I was hoping with the description it would be the new type of plug, but it wasn't. So uh, these here only cost me 10 bucks and these here cost me 40 bucks um also going to turn it into uh, uh i'm going to use the uh, smoke on this this round uh with uh, some covers that i bought uh pretty much go over like that uh so i uh, had cheap covers but you know what it, it kind of i'm not sure if i like them yet you know Versus uh, having to redo the style that I want through Harley is going to be a lot more expensive than what I got going on here. So, and I used to buy all nothing but Harley stuff, man. And uh, you know what? It's just uh, it's not necessary. I, I mean, when you got other stuff out there that's offered to you, uh, you know, why not give it a chance? Uh, but anyway. Um, let me uh, uh, go ahead and solder uh, this, this, these uh, plugs together and we will be right back. Welcome back to the candy shop. What an excellent day for an exorcism. <laughs> uh, I love breaking out new stuff. Uh, who doesn't? Okay. So we got one of the rails so basically what it does it goes goes in uh oh i'm sorry gets plugged into this here um the other one gets plugged into that, that up there and it goes wraps around the uh saddle bay so which is good really good protection okay so uh let me get started you get you kind of get the idea it's real simple to do i mean i i, I had them on there originally when i bought the bike but they won that time so uh, and then of course this one goes into your uh, your bottom rail which holds the bag. So alright, let's go get started and get that done. Uh, be right back. Here's a shot of the rails um, uh, uh, installed. I'm pretty happy the way they came out. I got no complaints here. Uh, I'll, I'll describe how I put them on and what you'll need to do. Uh, if you do something like this, uh, let's move on to the next. Okay, as you can see, the uh, turn signals have been replaced uh, and the brake light, uh, all to LED lighting. And I opted to keep the yellow uh, color on the rear. I know the newer Harley has them in red, but I, I like to keep them separated from the brake light. Um, so and then these are the rails, uh, which came out pretty good. I got a killer deal for them. Uh, again, I'll post a link for them. Uh, they turned out pretty good. Uh, I, I got no complaints on it. You will have to do uh, just uh, your saddle bags. Uh, that way everything stays even. Uh, the top mounts on a saddle bag as well as I did as far as the adjustment is concerned. Uh, so I can have the right gap all the way around. Um, other than that, uh, here's the seat. I also rep uh, put a new seat. Uh, now the seat is low, but since I've had surgery, it's perfect for me. Uh, you probably won't want. I, I, if I didn't have surgery, I would probably want to hire one, and this would not be the seat for you. But for me, it's perfect, and it's easy to pull off and on. Um, again, there's the other side of the rail, and there's the lights. Oh, uh, and instead of the turn signal yellow, uh, they're white. Uh, but when the turn signals are on, they'll flash over to uh, uh, yellow. So uh, no complaints there. I'm glad I did the front ones because I do like the uh, little spots on the uh, uh, turn signals. Uh, worked out pretty good. Anyway, um, well, there you go there. Uh, I'm happy with the setup. Um, I probably uh, won't uh, get the lens. I, mean, I, will, I will probably won't post the lens cover because I thought they were cheap uh, again I still don't know if I want to keep them or not uh, and the only person who's going to know is me and you that they're plastic so other than that 
Uh, I'm pretty much up to 2022 specs on this Harley Davidson. And there you have it. Um, I am up to date for as far as LED lighting. I uh, got the backrest on, which is not too bad. Uh, I'm still trying to get used to that because I never really had a backrest before. And I really don't like the idea of a backrest, but uh, I, I think on longer rides it will benefit me more than it would on the uh, um, short runs, you know, or just run, running the bike in general uh, around town. Uh, other than that, what's next? I'll blow this place up and be home in time for cornflakes. Uh, oh, let me let me forget. Let me not forget this. But you will have to get a load equalizer for the LED lighting. Um, uh, the one I got actually plugs into the harness underneath the seat, so it was just a plug and play. I will post that link underneath the video as well. Uh, so what's next? Well, I am eyeing um, uh, some speakers right now, uh, rear speakers for the saddlebags. Um, they, uh, 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 I would have to get a uh, amplifier because my stereo is only a uh, two channel um, and no provisions for a four channel. Uh, so the amplifier will allow me to have a four speaker setup uh, and still having the stock radio. I kind of like the stock radio. Uh, but who knows, I might end up uh, replacing that too. Until then, uh, something that I just realized is uh, don't forget to hit, do me a favor and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, let's get the channel, try to get the channel more popular. Uh, also, right next to that subscribe button is a little bell. Well, I just found this out. Go figure, I'm not, I'm not, I'm all, I'm not all that hip to YouTube stuff yet, but I'm getting there. Uh, hit that little bell and it will alert you anytime I push out a video uh, and of course like if you like the video until then uh, thank you for watching really appreciate it I hope you guys are learning something out of these videos that I push out and uh, be safe out there and uh, take care up and now yeah make all the demons cry yeah we were built to thrive yeah i think that we've all had enough what keeps you up and now yeah make all the demons cry yeah we